SMT Nation, we back. Nation, wanted to do this uh, T-Mobile network update to let you guys know what's going on with the T-Mobile 5G network. As things are starting to change a little bit, we're seeing some modifications. We're seeing some changes, and it's leading to some performance and throughput improvements. All right, so before we get going with the commentary of today's video, please do give this video a like and a share if you appreciate the content we're making here on the SMT YouTube channel. All right, so what exactly is happening? You guys can see the throughput increases I'm seeing at the SMT HQ. All right, speeds have picked up a lot. All right, so we're testing here on the main level in the morning. Got almost 800 megabits on the downlink and 11 megabits on the uplink. May not seem like a lot to you, but that is a huge improvement for me. That's a 3x improvement for uplink. That's uh, like a 2x improvement on downlink. And what's happening is, is they've, uh, they've increased the throughput through two different processes. The first thing, they've obviously gone for carrier aggregation on their 5G standalone network. And that means you got four channels of 5G NR frequencies. All right, so you got 15 megahertz of N71, 20 megahertz of N25. And then what they just did, they have the 100 megahertz of N41, and then they just widened the second channel of N41, which used to be 40 megahertz, now is 80 megahertz. All right, 847 down, 11 up. And through all of this with the SA core, uh, the latencies have dropped as well. So that's really nice to see. Now, when I look at the connection log and I look at the properties of the connection, it looks good and it's le leading to some good throughput increases. I don't know if all sites are broadcasting this way. I don't know if they're doing it in your market, but it's worth checking out as T-Mobile has indicated that they want to move more spectrum from LTE over to 5G. And I went and checked. I locked my phone to LTE channels and there's no more band 41 and LTE. All of it's on 5G and R now. Uh, there is 15 megahertz of LTE on band 2, 5 megahertz band 12, 5 megahertz band 71. The rest of it is on the NR side. So it's a 5G game moving forward for T-Mobile. All right, 771 down and about 7.5 up. Not that consistent, but still a good performer, improved from previous testing. What do you guys think of the results? Tell me what you're seeing. Huge update for T-Mobile.